Do you like our Lord and Savior Pink Sheep? Well, why don't you show support and give a mandatory donation to our God at my Teespring store? Link down below. I do not want to fucking be here anymore, man. This fucking sucks. Hello. Hello again, cat. Please sit down. So. We have received reports that the entity related to your incidents has killed two more agents. Yes. And that it... Were, what was in front of you? It appeared behind me. A few times. I see. Well, due to the... Recent information, we are able to fully classify it as an SCP, and we will be able to do more extensive testing. Okay. But it also means you will not have to be returning to the house if you do not wish to. I just need to get my stuff out of it, but I'm, even then, I don't want to go inside of it. We can have someone get the stuff for you if you're uncomfortable. I'm very uncomfortable, so yes, I'd appreciate that. We can get that sorted out for you, once you figure out a place of residence for the time being. Yeah. We're very sorry that this has happened to you. Truly are. No, you had no way of knowing that this would be my setup, you know. When I bought the place, I didn't think this would happen, so. I suppose you're right. But, it is now an officially classified SCP. If there's going to be more testing, am I required for more testing? Since it didn't really- nothing happened unless I was on the property? We will have to do certain tests, but... For the current moment, I don't see you being needed. That's good. Good. Okay. But, if anything happens, you'll be the first to know. I'll still help if, uh, you know, nothing bad happens, of course. Of course. We will keep you out of this SCP's range once we determine what that is. Well, when, Before... um, when I was escaping my house, I had to, I couldn't leave. The doors were, like, bolted shut. I couldn't open them at all. And I usually don't leave them, like, super locked up tight anymore. Um, it, it followed after me after I jumped out the window, but it just stopped where it usually, usually rests. Like, you know, where the so, mailbox usually is? Yes. So it seems that the entire house is its territory. I'd assume so. I, I've never been in the backyard with, with it following me or anything, but yeah. it didn't leave my yard. I had to stay out across the street where the agents were originally stationed. Just for the recording, could you confirm that over time it did get more and more aggressive? Yes, it got more and more aggressive. And this was the first time it ever revealed itself to you, correct? Yes. It was weird because I was just going about my day normally. I was going to make lunch and I suddenly saw a letter somewhere in my room like in my dining room and I thought the agents left it there after their investigation so I went back to the kitchen to get my phone and I saw two more letters in the kitchen and more just started appearing out of nowhere like all over my floor in my living room and when I turned around it was just looking at me and then it just I tried to leave, 
But the door wouldn't open, and I don't have any other doors in my house because it's open concept. The only door is upstairs in the bathroom. And like an idiot, I ran back up there because I wanted to put some distance, even if it was a door, in case it tried to attack me. Right. And when I came down later with Doctor after Dr. Harkman encouraged me to leave, there was a pile of letters in the living room. We will be investigating the content of the letters. I did read a few. And it was kind of in, it was just um, rambling about how I'm I, they they deserve me and all this other weird shit. I'm gonna be honest. So it was just bizarre. Well, we have classified the SCP number already, but I believe we could allow you to give it some sort of title as we have the statue 173 and such. Well, considering it's been stalking me, I'm gonna call it the stalker, stalker mailbox thing, because it's fucking terrifying if you see it. The stalker, okay. You can change that at any point if you feel that maybe that isn't appropriate enough, but for now, we will label it as the stalker. Okay. Is there anything else you need? For the moment, no. We'll be contacting you if anything does come up. Is that alright? Yeah, of course. Again, we apologize. It's alright. It needs to be done, I guess. Well, what happens now? Do I just go back to uh, housing here? For now. For now, until you can find another form of residence. If you're not comfortable here, if... You have an associate, a friend, that would put you up. You can do that, but that's up to you. Of course. Until then, we can get you a room here. Yeah. Well, thank you for talking with me about this. It's my job. I know, but I felt good to talk about it, because I felt fucking weird. It's not every day you have a mailbox literally staring at you, you know? That is quite an odd encounter. Yeah. Well, I... People have obviously experienced weirder. I mean, look at the rest of the SCPs in the facility. That is true. I just never thought it happened to me. No one ever does. Yeah. Well, I I should leave you to, you know, this, so... It's of no worries. If you need anything, give me a call. We will come back to you. And again, thank you. Thank you. I don't even know where to go and sit. I don't really know where they're supposed to, where I'm supposed to go, so I trust you do. Okay. I don't even have my fucking key card. I didn't grab it when I left the house. I mean, why the fuck would I? I thought I was gonna die. And that guard didn't come with me, so... I had to awkwardly ask to be let in to the fucking office, which sucks, because... Why would I want to... I mean, I, I know why I would want to do that, but, you know... <sighs> Is anybody even in there? It would be really awkward for me to come all this way here and then not be able to leave because nobody else is going to be over here. That would suck. Man, that would really suck. Hello, cat? Oh, hey. I didn't have my key because, you know... Hey, sh- it's okay. Hey. It's good you're right. Oh, I'm no, not, not that badly injured. No, just broke through a window. Probably bruised. Yeah. Good. Well, not good, but better. You know, not dead, like the other two. 
All right. Three. But yes, you look Well, fine. you know, yeah. Two, How was the uh, interview with the uh, five? It was okay. They told me that um, there might be more tests and I might, be, might need to be used for them. Um, but I don't no. have a house anymore. So they're probably well, gonna... that's obvious. Yeah. They'll take my stuff out for me. Eventually, when I find a place to live. Right. Well, uh, that's, that's good to hear at the very least. Yeah. I will say that you're very lucky. Reggie has a theory that the mailbox is rather angry at males, or doesn't like males for some reason, but it's not entirely inaccurate. Yeah, not really. Seems a bit more motive behind it, though. Because it didn't kill any of the males that was... That, well, that did investigate your house before this whole thing. Yeah, it didn't kill you. It did not kill me. <clears throat> no, it did not. Yeah. Right. Uh, are you, why are you here still? Shouldn't you be at the... Your accommodations right now well I don't really have anything there yet so it was kind of boring so I thought I'd come over here I didn't know if you were here or you know well yes we are here though I wouldn't mind if you took a vacation day after all you do deserve it I do but I have nothing else to do and I don't really want to sit and think about what happened well oh five if you want to talk Oh, five did come here. Really? Police representative. Okay. What do they want? Well, five. Five, the, you know, part of the thing, mm -hmm. said that they want to deploy 5162 and to investigate in the entity. Why? Probably just as a way to. They've lost three agents already. I don't think they want to lose more, but that's what you have D-Clowns for. Then again, who knows? The thing might still be angry. It looked angry. I'm sorry that happened to you. I mean, we didn't really know what that house had in store for me when we bought it. I bought it. You know, when you help me move I, in and all that. Yes, yes. But they don't want to lose any more men. So 5162, seen with his ability, infinite supply and all that. Yeah, so we will be, like, brutalized like the other three. Yes. You know, I've come to wonder a lot about 5162. What about him? Well, how his ability works, how he got it in the first place and all that. Yeah, I wonder I have that a too. a bit of a theory. What's your theory? Well, the closer we are to him, the more that we feel a sense of deja vu, right? Yeah. So now my way of thinking is that perhaps... He wasn't the first. There's no reason, no reasonable explanation for deja vu anyways. Perhaps that is the reason. But I wouldn't explain why we felt it for so long as a species, hundreds of years, thousands maybe. So maybe he's not the first. I doubt he'll be the last then. He won't. It's only a theory, though. Yeah. We should... A hopeful one at that. That's assuming he'll die, then. Like, naturally. Of old age, yes. I still worry about what would happen if that doesn't happen. If he doesn't die naturally. No, there are ways to extend one's mortality. Hell, some of the F5 members are... much older than a hundred. You'd be surprised. I think I would be. Well, nothing really surprises me anymore. 
right. Although the conversation is muted, I do imagine Davis is throwing a bit of a tantrum. Oh, yeah, he doesn't want to go? Well, let's just, um... You can go fuck yourself with your goddamn shit-stained hair! I'm not doing it, okay? Listen, Davis. <sighs> For God's sake. Let's to mute that again. Okay. So what's the big argument here? He doesn't want to die? He doesn't want to do it. That's fair. We told him all about the mailbox, but he just doesn't want to do it. However, I don't think Reggie is the more, um... Reggie's not very, um... Persuasive. No, he's not. Do you want me to talk to him? No. I think right now you should just relax. Why don't you watch one of them, uh... uh you YouTube things. YouTube things? Well, yes, the, the, the videos. Okay, you can just say YouTube videos. Instead of saying okay. YouTube things, it makes you sound more hip and in the now. The thing that was hip back when I was younger was 80s hair. I don't think that's much hip now. Also, that's not slang nowadays, is it? It's... Ah, uh, what is it? I forget the words. It's so confusing nowadays. Yeah, there's a lot of new terms that are popping up. No, I, no I've seen it too with the children at like elementary or middle school, high school, whenever I pass by. They like, they point at their arms and Sheesh. say... Sheesh! Yeah, it's that. I don't yeah, quite understand that. that. that there's a lot that goes into the, the explaining that kind of stuff. <sighs> yes, but... <laughs> If you want some free entertainment, you can go ahead and watch this. Oh, that sounds fun. Welp. Okay. Good to know. Alright. Good to know. But, if anybody comes in here, it is your ass I'm gonna kill first. You And then myself, so I can just relive really this moment over and over and over again. Okay? You act like I didn't do that willingly before. Yeah, well this time I'm making it I'm gonna make it last, okay?